If you guys aren't familiar with the Kerry Coon training halter, I want to show you a couple ideas here that makes this halter very unique and the only training halter on the market that can do what it does. First off, we have eliminated the solid knot down here at the bottom. We've got three sliding rings as the camera zooms in here. We got three sliding rings that will move on the bottom of this halter, allowing you to, when you're doing your groundwork, you can pull from any direction, any angle, and those rings will move and your halter will not roll on the side of your horse's face. Now with the three rings, when we're doing our groundwork, we just go ahead and hook our lead rope into all three rings. The cool thing about having more than one ring on there is you can also use it to ride with. Now we have trail riders that use these just by themselves to ride with. These two separate rings, I'll go ahead and hook my lead rope in the middle one. These two separate rings are to hook your reins to where you can ride with it. When this ring moves up the side of this horse's head, it, it literally will act like a side pull. So if you've got a horse that's stiff in his neck and all he wants to do is roll his head sideways when he gives to you, when that ring slides up the side of that halter and you pull on that horse, it's a lot easier to get your horse to bend his neck and not just roll his head to you. Another thing about this halter having three rings is you can add a snaffle bit on top of this halter and you can use this halter to literally introduce your horse to a snaffle bit. Or if you're beyond introducing your horse to the snaffle, but you want your halter to help a little bit too, you got two different options here where you can incorporate your reins and be riding with your halter and your bit. So to start with, you can take one ring, one side ring, come up, come through the ring of the snaffle, hook your rein directly to just this small ring, okay? I'll do the same thing on this other side. When I'm riding like this, I'll step back to this side. When I pick up on this rein, it's gonna pick up and it's only basically <clears throat> operating off of the halter. But because this ring is run through the ring of that bit, when I pick that up, I've got the halter fully engaged. But now when I pick this rein up, it's gonna move the ring of this bit just a little bit where that horse is gonna start to feel some pressure right here on the corner of his mouth. That's my first introduction to this horse for a snaffle to where I'm not just pulling on my snaffle. I can kind of let the horse get the feel of what that feels like. My next step is to, instead of having my snap directly on that little ring, I can bring this ring back. And here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna snap to the little ring and then I'm gonna snap to the ring on my snaffle bit as well. So now I've got both rings with my rein attached to it. So what happens now when I pick up on my rein, I'm still using my halter. My halter is still fully engaged, but now I'm also picking up that ring more where my rein is directly attached to the bit. So now it's basically like riding my horse with two separate sets of reins, only I've got one set of reins because my snap is hooked both to my halter and my snaffle. So this would be the next step after the introduction. Then obviously after that, I've rode my horse around like that for a day or two, then I can just take my rein and go straight to my snaffle. But to be able to have that unique opportunity to use this halter in a manner to introduce your horse to a snaffle, to use this for your groundwork, go ahead and bring my halter back here, snap it into all three rings. Be able to use my halter for my groundwork I'll get this mare moving around me here and just pick up on her a little bit where you guys can see how this thing works, how this halter does not roll. <clears throat> As this mare is going around me here, it's gonna be a whole lot easier for me to get my horse's nose to tip to me <clears throat> like that as she's going around me where that ring slides up the side of my halter and gives more of a pull from the side versus just pulling directly underneath, which is gonna have a habit of just trying to twist your horse's head on the end of his neck. So if you're not familiar with the Kerry Coon training halter, those are some ideas that'll just show you its uniqueness and maybe how much it could benefit you guys.